hello students and good morning to you all so so today's class is especially for class 10 the topic is variation so in the last online class also we were doing the same topic that is your variation and in that online class we did uh, we did some problems so today we'll do more problems on variation so let us work out uh, exercise 13 uh, page number 196 uh, the book is the same book that we are using, we were using, that is Ganit Prakash for class uh, 10 uh, from West Bengal Board of Secondary Education. So in the last online class we did question number 11. So let's do this question number 12. So now question number 12 here is to dig a well of x decimeter deep. One part of the total expenses varies directly with x and the other part varies directly with x squared. Now in this case to dig a well of x decimeter deep yota kua cha tyo kua chai kati kati deep kati deep khanindai cha x decimeter deep khanindai cha kati gahiro khanindai cha x decimeter gahiro khanindai cha ta tyo jun chai kua cha tyo kua khanda feri tesko kharcha lagcha so, this question is one part of the total expenses. Jati kharcha lagsa. Tesco one part. That is, one part of the total expenses varies directly with x and the other part varies directly with x square. So, tiyo yota kuwa khanu lai kei kharcha lagsa. Tiyo jun chai total, tiyo jun chai moat. Moat kharcha, athawa total expenses sa, that is divided into two parts. So, one part varies directly with x and the other part varies directly with x square. So your total expense line so, it is directly it varies directly with x on the and on and on the uh, and the other part varies directly with x square. Is that clear? Now next if the expenses for digging wells of 100 decimeter and 200 decimeter depths are respectively rupees <coughs> rupees 5000 and rupees 12000 let us write by calculating the expenses of digging a well of 250 decimeter depth the question na ke yedi 100 decimeter kuwa khannu ho bhane kati kharcha lagcha rupees 5000 to dig a well of 100 decimeter deep the expense is rupees 5000 and to dig a well of well of 200 decimeter deep deep to dig a well of 200 decimeter depth the expense is rupees 12000 okay so you have to find out the expenses of digging a well of 250 meter 250 decimeter depth if the depth of the well is 250 decimeter then what is the total expense in this case? So, this 200 decimeter, 250 decimeter, this 250 decimeter depth, khandu ho bane kharcha kati lakcha bane ra so din daish. Thik sa yaya sam bujiyo na? Phiri bani ma ek pada bujiyo ne chesta ka daishu. To dig a well of 1 decimeter deep. So, kati khandai sa? Tiyo kua chai? Kati gairo khandai daisha bane bari? 1 decimeter deep. And that total expenses is divided into two parts. So one part varies directly with x and the other part varies directly with x square. Okay. So now what is the expense for digging well of 100 decimeter depth? It is rupees 5000. And what is the expense of digging well of 200 decimeter? It is rupees 12000. So you have to find the expense. You have to find out the expense of digging. You have to find out the expense of digging a well of 250 decimeter depth. Is that clear to all of you? So this 250 decimeter depth, khandu ho bane chai kati kharcha lagcha yo hamile nikalna parcha. Ta thik cha? Ta yaha x bhaneko cha ke rakhcha x decimeter deep. Okay? Now total expenses. Now let us do the solution. 
total expenses you have to assume the total expenses of digging a well so this is the solution let capital E be the total expenses let capital E be the total expenses total expenses of digging a well of digging a well okay now this expense is divided into two parts let the two parts be a and b so what will you write here let e is equal to this is your a plus b because in the question it is given that one part of the total expenses varies directly with x and the other part varies directly with x square that means the total expense is divided into two parts so suppose the two parts are a and b so you can write e is equal to a plus b is that clear so now this is number one right one part of the total expense uh, varies directly with x and the other part varies directly with x square that means the total expense is divided into two parts uh, suppose the two parts are a and b so first part is a and the second part is b so here the first part a varies directly with x by question a varies directly with x that is a and x are in direct variation right so by question by question what can you write a varies as x right so one part of the total expenses varies directly with x right so a is directly proportional to x so now you have to simplify it proportional sign la hamile ke ma lanu parcha is equal to ma lanu parcha or a is equal to k into x so what is the method for converting this proportional sign into equality you have to multiply this right hand side by a constant quantity k you know that isn't it so where k is a constant of variation where k is a constant of variation where k is a constant of variation that is a is equal to kx so now again what is given in the question and the other part varies directly with x square which is the other part here b is the other part okay again so again by question what can you write b other part varies directly with x square that is b and x square are in direct variation so b is directly proportional to x square okay or b is equal to suppose this is m m is a constant quantity so in this case also you have to convert this proportional sign into equality sign so you have to multiply the right hand side by m a constant quantity right is equal to m where m is a constant of variation where m is a constant of variation right so we have got the values of a and b that is a is equal to kx and b is equal to what this is your mx square right so let us put the values of a and b in one so putting the values of putting the values of a and b in number one right now what do we do? this a and b is equal to 1 so what is e now? so e is equal to what is the value for a? what is the value for a? a is kx plus what is the value for b? what is the value for b? it is mx square this is your mx square so let us mark it as number 2 right? so now the values are given out here that is your x is the depth and e is the total expense right e is the total expenses and x is the depth so by question it is given that for digging well of 100 decimeter what is the expense it is rupees 5000 that is when x is equal to 100 decimeter that is x is a depth so when x is equal to 100 decimeter then what is the expense e is equal to rupees 5000 this is another way of writing the rupees this is known as 4 a dime 
you know that foradine isn't it so this is known as foradine foradine rupees foradine is actually it is rupees right so in this case when x is equal to when x is equal to 100 decimeter when x is equal to what 100 decimeter depth 100 decimeter what is the expense here what is the expense here e is equal to rupees 5000 is that clear so we will put these values of x and e in number two so what is e here now it is 5000 is equal to k into 100 plus m into this is your 100 holy square right so or this is your 5000 is equal to this is 100k plus what is 100 holy square 100 is 100 holy square means you have to multiply 100 twice that is your 100 into 100 is 10,000 right so this will be your 10,000 uh, 1 holy square is 1 so double zero is there double zero holy square is double zero holy square is four zeros right that is your 10,000 then you should write m out here is that clear to all of you now next So now in the next step, you can take common on the right hand side. So or 5000 is equal to what is common on the right hand side? It is 100. 100 is common. So within bracket K plus. So if you simplify it, then it is easier for you to simplify the calculation. Okay. So 100 within bracket K plus. This is 100 into 100 is uh, 10,000 M. Right. So here on the left hand side and on the right hand side you can cancel this double zero. Abot thi mene kya karna Your right side ko left side mein left side ko chahe right side mein likhna pare. Hamili sign change karna par dena. That is k plus hundred m is equal to fifty. So let us mark it number three. So again the value is given there. Uh, so what is the expense of digging a well of 200 decimeter it is 12,000 you know that if the expense is 12,000 then what is the depth of the well it is 200 decimeter that is when x is equal to 200 decimeter then e is equal to rupees 12,000 so now when x is equal to 200 decimeter when x is equal to 200 decimeter then what is the value for total expense e this is equal to rupees 12,000 right so we will put these values of x and e in number two have you extra equal i mean also number two miles therefore from two what do we have so number two is this equation e what is e here it is 12,000 is equal to k into what is x? 200 plus m. m, what is x whole square? This is your 200 whole square. So let us simplify it. It is 12,000 is equal to this is your 200k plus. What is 200 whole square? 200 whole square means. 200 is multiplied twice so 200 into 200 will be 40,000 right 4 and 4 zeros into m now again you have to simplify it let us simplify it now is equal to what is common here on the right hand side it is 200 so it is k plus this is your 200 m so here also from left hand, left hand side and right hand side you can cancel this double zero uh, so two ones are two uh, 2 6 are 12 this is 60 now I am going to right side ko left side mein, left side ko right side mein like so the sign change is going to part in so we have k plus 200m is equal to 60 so let us mark it equation number 4 so now what will you do in the next step you have to solve these two equations equation 3 and equation 4 so solving 3 and 4 so now let us solve it okay now what is equation number 3 k plus 100 m is equal to 50 and what is number 4 k plus 200 m is equal to 60 
so let us subtract it okay so that you can cancel this k you have to solve these two equations so minus minus this is also minus so here kk gets cancels what is 100m minus 200m minus 100m is equal to minus 10 right so now in the next step uh, so let us solve it now so let us solve it get the value for m so what is the value for m in this case So here minus minus gets cancels so m is equal to it is 10 upon 100 right so 0 0 gets cancels so what is m is equal to it is 1 upon 10 so i think uh, you have understood it so next what will you do in the next step so what will you do in the next step you have to get the value for k so putting the value of k in equation 3 you can put it in equation 4 also so putting the value of m putting the value of m in equation 3 so what is equation 3 out here it is k plus 100 m k plus 100 m is equal to 50 is equal to 50 right so put the value for m in this case or k plus 100 into 1 by 10 is equal to 50 0 0 gets cancels so k is equal to 50 10 is taken to the right hand side becomes minus 10 or this is your k is equal to 40 so now you put the values of k and m just now we got the values of k and m so now we will put these values of k and m in equation 2 what was equation 2 actually what was equation 2 actually it was e is equal to kx plus mx square isn't it you can check it you can check the previous step that is e is equal to kx plus mx square right so write on put in the values of k and m putting the values of k and m in equation 2 so let us write down equation 2 now you can tell me which is equation 2 out there it is e is equal to e is equal to uh, actually it is kx plus mx square right so e is equal to kx plus mx square so let us put the value for k and m in this equation that is your equation number 2 you can check it that is e is equal to kx plus mx square so e is equal to what is the value for k it is 40 it is 40x plus what is the value for m what is the value for m in this case m is 1 by 10 it is 1 by 10 x square so now what is to be determined you have to find out the expense for digging a well of 250 decimeter depth right you have to find out the expense of digging a well of 250 decimeter depth okay so now e is equal to question mark when x is equal to 250 decimeter so let us find it so when x is equal to 250 decimeter what is the value for the expense e right so now let us use this relation suppose this relation is number five not this one this one okay so this is number five okay so this number five is very very important relation in order to get the value for e when x is equal to 250 decimeter right so therefore from five we have e is equal to e is equal to 40x plus 1 by 10 x square okay so e is equal to 40 into what is x what is x in this case 250 this is 250 plus 1 by 10 into 250 whole square right so let us simplify it or e is equal to now this is two zeros are there double zero write down double zero 25 fours are this is your 100 plus 1 by 10 into what is 250 whole square 250 multiplied by 250 so what is the product double zero 
250 into 250, double zeros are there. So 25 into 25 is 625. So here you can cancel this, zero, zero gets cancels. So or E is equal to, this is your 10,000 plus, this is your 6,250, add them. So what is the total expense now? 16250. So this is the required answer. So what is the expense for digging a well of 250 decimeter depth? So the required expense is rupees 16,250. So therefore required expense, so required expense of digging a well of, of digging a well of 250 decimeter is equal to, what is the answer? It is rupees 16250. So this is your final answer. Okay, I think I've understood it. This question is also very, very important. So you can copy it. We'll do the next question now. So now we'll do the next question that is question number 13. The question is volume of a cylinder is in joint variation with the square of the length of radius of the base and its height. So what is a cylinder? Cylinder ko shape se Cylinder bane ko se. Just say thi drum dehe so drum drum is a cylinder. Actually uh, this chalk is also of cylinder type. Yopani hota hai cylinder ko figure ho. This chalk is a type of a cylinder, right? The so, figure is a custom cylinder. So, all of you have seen a drum, isn't it? The drum is a circular shape, it is a circular shape. So, what is the curve surface area? So, what is the goal? 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 So, this is a cylinder. This is a cylinder, right? Uh, cylinder ko use ki This is the height of the cylinder. This is H is the height of the cylinder. And now, this is the radius of the base of the cylinder. Base bane ko aadar. Base bane ko tollo portion lai hami ki banchou. Base bane ra banchou. Nepali hami tela ki banchou. Aadar bane ra bane banchou. Base lai hami Nepali bada ki banchou. Aadar. Thik sa? Yo tollo portion lai hami ki banchou. Base bane ra banchou. Thik sa? The basement the circle is the circle, the circle. So, you shape the circle just to the hinaina. You have oval shape massa. Kino you have the oval shape of Banagwanza, Bandaferi, Kino you have three dimensional figure. Junse Sami, space ma bonu persa, cast my you. Was a space ma banale, you say two dimensional figure, two dimensional figure, Banego, length of breadth, Mate Bogos. Tesma, length of breadth, Mate Savanit, you two dimensional figure, Tara. Length, breadth, height. Just the yota room. Room yota dimensional figure. That is, uh, go length. Yeah, shape my yota length. Yeah, yota length. Yota yeah, breadth. Yeah, height. I know. Yota box. Your room yota box. Just the box is a three dimensional figure. So it has got length, breadth, and as well as height. Length, breadth, or height. Seven zero three kilo. Three dimensional figure. Thick sir. And in length or breadth, matte seven zero three Two dimensional figure. Right? So, you cylinder say actually, hami, hamro kyo, three dimensional figure. Take a run lever that say, you mati ko ju, you dunja do it as shapes, you do it as shapes, or oval shape just the hego. You three dimensional figure, bono the say, amidi, you oval shape my banako. Take sir, tora you drum my kyunsa, mati bunny circle unsa, tola bunny circle. Mati ko back bunny circular part, tola ko back bunny circular part unsa. Two circular part ko, you are the kyo radius. Take sir, to use a cylinder. Take sir, to cylinder bitra I mean, pani al de bhi unsa. Yo cylinder yoda solid unsa. Tela bansa I mean, volume. Volume of the cylinder V. Bujhe yo cylinder I mean, matilo level sa manai pani al de bani ki unsa. Yo yoda kiva solid cylinder bhi ko. Take sir, aur it yo solid cylinder bani bithi ami isko k dinner k assume karsa volume. Volume of the cylinder. Take sir. 
तो यो से बोया होना है सिलिंडर को सेप आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट सो हाइट क्या लाभ निकला रेडियस क्या लाभ निकला था बो सो एच इज़ द हाइट ऑफ़ द सिलिंडर आर इज़ द रेडियस ऑफ़ द बेस ऑफ़ द सिलिंडर और वी इज़ द व्हाट इज़ वी वी इज़ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ़ द सिलिंडर सो नाउ सो लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन वॉल्यूम ऑफ़ अ सिलिंडर इज़ इन जोइन वेरिएशन विद द स्क्वायर ऑफ़ द लेंथ ऑफ़ रेडियस ऑफ़ द � a is in direct, uh, A is in join variation, capital A is in join variation with capital B and capital C, A proportional to BC, is that clear? The variable capital A is in join variation with capital B and capital C, A is proportional to BC jointly. Similarly here, let V be the volume of the cylinder, Volume हमले B सपोज़ हो रहे हों। इसी जोन वेरिएशन विद द स्क्वायर ऑफ़ द लेंथ ऑफ़ द रेडियस, रेडियस हमें क्या सपोज़ कर सो? R सपोज़ कर सो। और ये इसको हाइट हमें क्या सपोज़ कर सो? H। So in this case, by question it is given that the volume of a cylinder is in is in जोइन वेरिएशन वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ सिलिंडर इज इन जोइन वेरिएशन विद द स्क्वायर ऑफ़ द लेंथ ऑफ़ द रेडियस ऑफ़ द बेस एंड इस हाइट ठीक सा तो पहले हमें यो तीन टाइप वेरिएबल समझ रहे हों वॉल्यूम रेडियस ऑफ़ द बेस रा हाइट ऑफ़ द सिलिंडर लेट वी वी द वॉल्यूम लेट वी वी द वॉल्यूम कॉमा आर बी द रेडियस ऑफ़ द बेस R be the radius of the base and H be the height of the cylinder and H be the height of the cylinder and H be the height of the cylinder okay so just now I told you about the variable A is in joint variation with B and C what is meant by it a is proportional to BC jointly. The similarly here, it is given that volume of a cylinder is in joint variation. That is volume V, V is B, that is the volume of the cylinder is in joint variation. That means V is proportional to, is in joint variation with the square of the length of the radius. With the square of the length of the radius. That is radius whole square. That is what can you write? R square is in joint variation with square of the length of the radius means r square that is radius of the base and its height what is its height that is your h so that is v is directly proportional to r square into h jointly so this is given from the first part this relation is given from the first part that is v is proportional to r square h is that clear so now let us simplify it अब यो proportional sign लाए मिले के मालानु पर सा is equal to sign मालानु पर यो और v is equal to k into r square h so within bracket what do what do we write here where k is a constant of variation where k is a constant of variation where k is a constant of variation is that clear to all of you so now in the next part, what is given in the question? Ratio of the radii of the bases of two cylinders. Now you have to consider two cylinders. So in the question it is given that ratio of the radii of the bases of two cylinders is 2 is to 3 and the ratio of the heights is 5 is to 4. It is given that ratio of the uh, radii, ratio of the radii of the bases of two cylinders is 2 is to 3 and the ratio of their heights is 5 is to 4. So you have to find the ratio of their volumes. Now we need to cylinder. So we need to do cylinder, we need volume, we need to radius, we need to height, we need to do So let us assume the volume, radius and height of these two cylinders. Okay? So let us write here, let B1 be the volume, let B1 be the volume, R1 be the R1 be the 
radius of the base r1 be the radius of the base and r1 be the radius of the base and and h1 and h1 be the height and h1 be the height of the first cylinder of the first cylinder ta hame ne yake gareu first cylinder ko volume height ra radius of the base suppose gareu the first cylinder ko volume v1 radius of the base r1 ani height kati cha isko h1 thik cha ta similarly hame le second cylinder ko pani volume radius of the base ra hami height suppose garchu thik cha let v2 be the volume comma r2 be the r2 be the radius of the base and h2 be the height and h2 be the height of the second cylinder of the second cylinder of the second cylinder is that clear to all of you so now what is given in the question ratio of the radii or the bases of two cylinders is equal to 2 is to 3 that means we can write ratio of the radii of the bases of two cylinders that is r1 is to r2 is that clear r1 is to r2 a uh, ratio of radii of bases of two cylinders means r1 is to r2 so by question it is given as 2 is to 3 it is given as 2 is to 3 right so ratio means you can write it in terms of fraction that is r1 upon r2 is equal to 2 upon 3 is that clear again again what is given in the question ratio of the heights is 5 is to 4 ratio of the heights is 5 is to 4 that means h1 is to h2 is equal to this is your 5 is to 4 is that clear so now we can write it in terms of fraction that is h1 divided by h2 is equal to this is 5 upon 4 so what is to be found out you have to find the ratio of the volumes ratio of the volumes means you have to find out b1 is to v2 you have to find out b1 is to v2 is equal to question mark is that clear to all of you so we have to find out b1 is to v2 so now we have got the relation out there from the first part from the first part we just found out the relation between volume radius of the base and the height of the cylinder that is that is v is equal to k uh, it was r square into h isn't it so that is v is equal to k r square h just now we got this relation v is proportional to r square into h that that proportional sign was converted into equality sign and on the right hand side we have multiplied r square h by some constant quantity that is k where k is a constant of variation right so now in this case uh, so let us use v1 instead, instead of v is equal to k this is r1 square into h1 suppose this is number one again you can replace v by v2 is equal to k into r2 square into h2 suppose this is equation number two okay so now you know the value of r1 upon r2 is equal to 2 upon 3 and here h1 upon h2 is equal to 5 upon 4 and now you have to find out b1 upon v2 that means you have to find out b1 is to v2 so you have to divide 1 by 2 so that we can get the value for b1 by v2 okay so write down so now dividing 1 by 2 so in order to get b1 by v2 you have to divide 1 by 2 so dividing so dividing 1 by 2 dividing 1 by 2 what do we get b1 upon b2 b1 upon v2 is equal to on the right hand side k 
k r1 square h1 divided by k r2 square into h2 so i think you have understood it so you can copy it so now we will put the values now let us put the values here so here kk gets cancels or this is v1 upon v2 is equal to you can write it as r1 by r2 whole square right that is r1 square upon r2 square that is it can be written as r1 by r2 whole square into h1 upon h2 i think i've understood it so let us put the values or v1 upon v2 is equal to what was r1 by r2 that is the ratio of radii of the bases of the two cylinders that was 2 by 3 so you can write here 2 by 3 whole square into what is the value for h1 by h2 it is 5 by 4 right so this is your 5 upon 4 so now let us simplify it or this is v1 upon v2 is equal to 2 by 3 whole square is that is 2 square is 4 divided by 3 square is 9 into 5 by 4 right so your 4 4 gets cancels so b1 upon v2 is equal to 5 upon 9 so you can write it in terms of ratio so what is b1 is to v2 is equal to that is your 5 is to 9 is that clear so what is the ratio of the volumes it is 5 is to 9 so therefore ratio of their volumes ratio of their volumes is equal to what is the answer here it is 5 is to 9 so i think you have understood it so you can copy it so let's do the next question now So now we'll do the next question that is question number 14 page number is 197 uh, so this question is also very very important an agricultural cooperative society of village of Patsla has purchased a tractor yota village gaon tyo gaon ko naam chai ke recha Patsla ta tyaha ko society yota cooperative society le yota tractor kinech has purchased a tractor okay so previously the tractor kinu banda agadi chai ke hudaisa banda bhari 2400 bigas of land were cultivated by 25 plows p l o u g h s plows ela pronunciation garda hami ke bhanchau plows p l o u g h s plows plows bhaneko tyo khet ma halo jotne ta halo jotne chai ke ho actually plows ta khet jota bhari त्यो एउटा चीज चाहिन्छ त्यो हलो जोत्ने चीज चाहिन्छ त त्यो हलो जोत्ने चीजलाई चाहिँ हामी के भन्छ प्लाउज भनेर भन्छ हलो जोत्ने बुझ्यो सो प्रीवियसली 2400 बिगास अफ ल्यान्ड वर कल्टिभेटेड बाइ 25 प्लाउज इन 36 डेज त त्यो ट्रैक्टर किन्नु भन्दा अगाडि चाहिँ 2400 बिगास अफ ल्यान्ड वर कल्टिभेटेड बाइ 25 प्लाउज इन 36 डेज so you 36 days ma chai you 25 plows le kati bigas of land jotnu saksa or cultivate garnu saksa 2400 is that clear so now aba chai ke hundaicha vartaman samay ma chai ke hundaicha now half of the land can be cultivated only by that tractor half of the land ta pehla kati bigas zamin chai jotdai thyo cultivate hundai thyo 2400 bigas of land अब half of the land मने को दिवा 2400 को आधी को दिवा it is divided by 2 that is 1200 that is 1200 now 1200 bigas of land is cultivated only by that tractor त्यो tractor एक ले 1200 bigas of land cultivate अथवा जोत नू सक्षा कती दिन मा जोत नू सक्षा तो यो now half of the land can be cultivated only by that tractor in how many days 30 days so in this case you have to calculate let us calculate by using the theory of variation the number of plows 
work equal to that tractor. So how many number of plows is equal to one tractor? You have to find it. You have to find out the number of plows that are required to cultivate 1200 bigas of land. That is half of the land. That is to cultivate 1200 bigas of land in how many days? In 30 days, right? So in 30 days, so in 30 days, how many plows will be required to cultivate half of the land? That is 1200 bigas of land in how many days? 30 days. That will give you the number of plows that work equal to one tractor. Is that clear to all of you? So again, try to understand it. The Yota village gaun, the gaun ko naam sikhi bande sa patsla. The patsla bani gaun ma sahi. Tya cooperative society or that tractor ki nera lands. Hai na? Tya khet ko zamin sa. Ab tu khet jodnu par sa. Hai na? Ta tya sak sabzi aru upzono bani tu khet lai ramar sang jodnu pariyo. Hai na? Ta tu jodnu lai sahi. Tractor leunu banda agadi sahi. Uh, 2400 bigas of land were cultivated by 25 plows in how many days? In 36 days. Take sir. Abo chiki lai, oda tractor lai. Abo tiyo tractor le half of the land. Half of the land mani go, pahila 2400 bigas of land jodh tindai thiyo. Jodh dai thiyo. Abo chai half of the land mani go, 1200 bigas of land. Now 1200 bigas of land will be cultivated only by that tractor in how many days in 30 days so you have to calculate by using the theory of variation the number of plows that work equal to one tractor so how many plows will be equal to that one tractor is that clear to all of you so let us find out the number of plows that equal to one tractor is that clear so now in this case uh, so let us assume the variables bigas of land maniko area let capital a be the area of land comma let small n be the number of plows be the number of plows and small d be the number of days and small d be the number of days. Is that clear to all of you now? So now in this case, now we have to get the relation between all these three variables. This a is the area of the land, n is the number of plows that is required to cultivate uh, the land, okay, and d be the number of days. So these are the three variables. So what are the relations between these three variables or what is the relation between Three, between these three variables that is a n and d so let us take a and n a is the area of the land n is the number of plows the thupray plows sabane thupray area jodnu saksa haina thupro plows sabane thupray area jodnu saksa kamti plows sabane kamti area jodnu saksa when d is same 5 din ma abo 5 number of days kati cha 5 5 5 is constant okay so, thupro plus samane, thupro area jodnu saksa, kamti plus samane, kamti area jodnu saksa. Thik sa? So, in this case, n is proportional to a when d is constant. When d is constant. Okay? Abo a constant bar, suppose, yoda area a constant sa. Thik sa? Area a constant bar, thupro plus samane, kamti din lak sa. I know the you bandha agadi mene amile aje ora isto problem gare thiyo number of men ra number of number of men ra number of days ko jastai huyo ta thupro manche milera gare chha ne kamti din ma saksha kune euta kaam tara kamti manche cha bhane tei kaam beshi din lagauch tesai ya pani number of plus thupro cha bhane number of plus thupro cha bhane kune euta kaam kamti din ma saksha tara number of plus kamti cha bhane tei kaam beshi din lagauchha haina ta esma ke bhayo so, this is the same thing. Now, this is a constant area of the land. So, what is the relationship between the inverse relation? If you have a plus, you can see the plus, you can see the plus, you can see the plus. 
बेसी को कम दी बाग कम थी को बेसी बाग मने उल्टा बन जाए मिके वर्सो that is known as inverse variation so in this case we will write n proportional to one upon d where a is constant where a is constant is that clear to all of you now so now in this case we can use the theorem on joint variation this is n proportional to a and this is n proportional to one upon d so by the theorem on joint variation what can you write by the theorem on joint variation by the theorem on joint variation comma we have so what can you write here if a is proportional to b when c is constant and when a is proportional and a is proportional to c when b is constant then a is proportional to bc jointly when both b and c vary so in this case also if n is proportional to a and n is proportional to 1 upon d then n is proportional to a into 1 by d jointly so by the theorem on joint variation what can you write n proportional to a into 1 upon d so i think you have understood it by the theorem on joint variation we can write down that n proportional to a a into 1 upon d now how i make it also you proportional sign line is equal to my change or so or n is equal to k into a by d takes up so you have no important relation but i have a killing i'm going to be issue where k is a constant of variation the user like neighbors exam where k is a constant of variation say exam i like a good person you like a not timaka answer correct sir it max cut in say you do your time max of our team max how many do you max mother pounds time max how many team max ones are pass my so many time max mother pounds takes up the use a little bit in a by now where k is a constant of variation is that clear now so let us put the value here so in this case n denotes the number of plows, isn't it? Number of plows, these are 25. n is equal to 25. Area of the land, these are 2,400 bigas. 2,400 bigas. And the number of days, these are 36 days. That is, d is equal to what? It is 36. So I think you have understood it. So let us simplify it now. So let us put the value. That is n is equal to k into a by d or what is n in this case it is 25 k into what is the value for a 2400 divided by what is the value for d it is 36 is that clear now let us do the cross multiplication 25 to the of 1 by 1 cross multiply column k into 2400 is equal to 25 into 36 or k is equal to 25 into 36 divided by 2400 is that clear to all of you so let us simplify it now 25 ones are 25 25 like all the times 25 nines are 225 isn't it uh, 25 nines are 225 240 minus 225 is 15 150 by 25 6 are 150 is that clear it's very four is answer line four nines are 36 four line four twos are eight four fours are 16 isn't it four twos are eight four fours are 16 takes up uh, very cotton is answer three lays answer three three is a nine three eight is a 24 which is equal to three by eight that is k is equal to three by eight so let us write here therefore k is equal to this is three upon eight now we have to find out the number of plots that work equally with one tractor that is you have to find out the value for n so write down again Again, you have to find out n question mark that equal to one tractor when now half of the land can be cultivated. Half of the land means a is equal to pila koti because of land jodhai uh, thiyo or cultivate undai thiyo 2400. Half of the land manis kati ba 1200. 
कति दिन में सकू अब थर्टी डेज में इन थर्टी डेज दिस टू हंड्रेड बिगज अफ लैंड कैन बी कल्टिवेटेड ओली बाय दैट वन ट्रैक्टर राइट सो डी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी इज दैट क्लियर सो लेटस यूज दिस रिनेसन एन इज इक्वल टू के इन टू ए बाई डी दिस इज द इंपोर्टेंट रिनेसन आउट हि नाउ सो एन इज इक्वल टू के इन टू ए अपन डी ओके सो और एन इज इक्वल टू वट इज द वैल्यू फॉर के इट इज थ्री बाई एट इन टू वट इज द वैल्यू फॉर ए नाउ इट इज टुवेल्व हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई डी इज थ्री जीरो थर्टी इज दैट क्लियर सो थ्री वन जा थ्री थ्री टेन जा थर्टी जीरो जीरो गेट्स कैंसल्स एटले वन ट्वेंटी लाइ कैंसल हो सो एट वन जा एट एट वन जा एट फोर्टी एट फाइव जा फोर्टी दैट इज एन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन तो नंबर अफ प्लस कति बज फिफ्टीन ओके सो राइट ऑन द एंसर नाउ सो दे आर फोर नंबर अफ प्लस नंबर अफ प्लस हलो जोत्ने नंबर अफ प्लस हलो जोत्ने को नंबर कति आज इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन कतिवटा हलो जोत्ने हलो जोत्ने चीज कतिवटा रहे पंद्रहवटा फिफ्टीन दैट इज वन ट्रैक्टर इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन प्लस भेख सो दे फो वन ट्रैक्टर इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन प्लस सो दिस इज द एंसर सो आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टुड इट दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट त आज हमें जी गये तो तीनटा प्रब्लम मत गए आज हमें तर तीनटा इंपोर्टेंट हो तिमें घर में इसमस रिविजन करने बुझे ये क्वेश्चन मध्यम में आने सकता तो तिमें घर में यह रिविजन कर सो दिस मच इज फर टुडे सो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास विल डू मोर प्रब्लम्स ऑन दिस वेरिएशन ओके